to the live stream. Just in time for me to die in game. I have no idea what just happened, but it happened. It happened. Welcome in. I hope you guys are doing mighty fine. <sighs> Let me go ahead and get everything started up. Get everything situated as we figure out what to do after just dying Roger here. Roger Reed 52 <laughs> just resubscribed with Twitch Roger Prime Reed. for 21 months. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime for 21 months. I do appreciate that. By the way, before I started the live stream, I did get some things situated out. Got some things set up. So hopefully things will be a bit better uh, as far as chat related stuff goes. So emotes should be showing up now in chat. In Minecraft. In Minecraft chat. Um, wow. <laughs> yeah, those that are here for the first time, welcome in. Welcome to your first live stream, if that might be the case. Um, I hope that uh, this is enough to keep you keep you around, you know? Guardian 1704 oh just gosh. resubscribed with Twitch Prime yeah, for 18 months. Yeah, let's go months. ahead and uh, let's kick this off. We'll see what's going on here. All right, so we respawned all the way back at our old location. That's okay. We got to go back. Wait, how did they get out? Did somebody open the door? We gotta collect all these guys. All right, let's get back here. Let's get our stuff. Where did our stuff go? And where did the zombies come from? Where did the zombies come from? Uh, excuse me. Ah, hey, whoa. I need to find my stuff. I don't know where my death... Okay, my death marker is this way. I died in here. How did I die in here? I don't even know how that happens. There we go. Now we're ready to go. All right. Welcome in, everybody. <laughs> so if somebody wants to test it out, emotes should now work in chat. So if you're a subscriber and you chat something that includes an emote, it will actually show the emote in game. So if any of my Twitch subs want to spam some of my emotes, go for it. Emote only mode actually would work now, wouldn't it? And wouldn't look super funny. <laughs> there we go. And I don't know if the emotes are uh, exclusive to my channel. I think they all should work. Oh yeah, we got the Poglins now. Oh yeah, they're working now. That looks great. Awesome. All right, let's get our uh, let's get our our gear set back up since I, I died. I don't even know how that happened, but I did die. Um, you guys with the sounds, I swear the creeper sounds is is something. It's definitely something. I wonder what it would be like to have the speed charm and the illum or have the speed charm. What in the world? Is that sound? It went away. But it was something in game. It's something to do with the Pac Man pet. Say what now? The Pac Man pet is glitching out. Do you hear this? Listen. That's, that's funny. I wonder if it's something to do with some kind of food I have in my inventory. Uh, we need to fix that. So this ended up getting broken. All my torches ended up getting broken. What is even going on here? I'll take this bedside cabinet though. I kind of like that. All right, let's, let's organize some stuff and then we'll get on with uh, plans for today. Whatever those may consist of because I have no idea yet. Uh, let's get our helmet on. All right, lava bucket, don't need it. It's gone now. I think it was something to do with the food we had in our inventory. Generic, get out of here. <laughs> hey, Chosen Arcade, you've been enjoying your Sky Factory 4 tutorial recently. Thanks for the awesome content. Thank you so much. Thank you for the kind words. I need to pick up all these subs, by the way. Um, Roger Reed, Reed with the 21 months. Welcome back with that resub. Thank you so much. 
Um, and then we also have a Guardian with the 18-month resub with that Twitch Prime. Thank you so much as well. Welcome back to the crew, guys. And I hope you guys are all doing mighty fine. By the way, last time we were trying to set this up, the Fisher, and uh, realized that uh, for some reason, our power is just nowhere near sufficient enough for something for that to work. Um, all right, we need to head out here. There's, it's so dark. Oh my gosh. We need torches. Doesn't this require coal? Or something like it eats coal? Yes. All right, let's get that situated. We also, we need to go, we need to farm more today for uh, for resources. So like, we are definitely out of coal, as you just seen. We need to pick everyone up, by the way, that just was in here. If we can find everybody. You followed, why you say my name? Well, here's the thing with follows, when it, you hit a certain point and you have a lot of people that follow, there's no way to keep up with that particular number. Um, you know, and, and there's been times where that would be just impractical to read out every single follower. Um, so what I have happen instead is your name shows up above my inventory bar and lets you know, lets me know that you followed. I may or may not be able to see it, but I do hear the notification sound because it plays a random uh, sound that I have out of a, a select like 10 different sounds. Um, so I still try to have something in there for you guys. And plus, it's just like that right there. <laughs> Everyone who follows, it does play a sound. So it is interactive in a way. There we go. <laughs> but no need, uh, no need to get upset over me not saying it. Not every, not every Twitch uh, live streamer does that. Reads out follows, and plus, when you do read out follows, sometimes you end up with those people that will have their name like, you know, I swallow, blah blah blah, you know, whatever that may be. You know, I, I, and and it, and it gets you. It's, it's easy to do. It's easy to quickly read over something and not realize what it says. And bam, next thing you know, you're saying something you didn't want to say. All right, is that everybody? I think that's everybody. <laughs> what you doing, Skelly? But you get wrecked. Sometimes they just don't want to... Didn't, did we have villagers here? Maybe we didn't. We still have our villagers here, though. They should still be safe. All right. By the way, when you guys are uh, redeeming the um, the hydrate, I got my water. I got my coffee. We're ready to go. We're ready to rock and roll. And uh, Jeff, welcome in. Luminati pets ready. What do we got? Industrial jerry can from the vehicle industrial jerry from the vehicle mod. Say what? And of course, free Flea wants to redeem some ads. So <sighs> looks like ads are going to be ran for 30 seconds for the select few that's in here. So those who uh, are subbed to the channel, you don't have to worry about them. But uh, here you go. There you go. I hope that was worth 3000 points. <laughs> 3,000 channel points. Holy smokes. All right, and I need some food. Um, the apple doesn't work as food, does it? Sneak, okay, sneak right click. It says it does a pile driver, what? Oh, it turns, it changes the apple. That's That's kind of cool though. I wonder if we should keep like all the inventory pets over here on our side, just in case we want to use one of them. That might be a good idea. Cause we went hunting for inventory pets last, last time. 
So maybe having some of these on us might come in handy. You never know. So long as we, of course, have the food for them. Yeah, that should be plenty. All these different inventory pets. They're so cute, though. Super adorable. Okay. Uh, what is the height? Wait. Where's the hydrate restock? So it has a cooldown. So the hydrate, you don't want to overhydrate me, right? <laughs> uh, well, that was annoying. Like I said, don't blame me. Blame someone else. Actually, what's more annoying is getting an ad before the stream. Wait, did it work? It did. It stopped. Ah, uh, disabled by redstone and tin. Awesome. So we can now use this and plop that in there and we can regenerate this thing and it stopped at that level. So it thinks the eyes are, it, the, the eyes are food, but it doesn't want me to eat them because it'll make me sick. Interesting, but also weird at the same time that it makes all that noise. So there's a bunch of wool. Okay, good. <laughs> so how's everybody doing, by the way? It is, uh, it's Monday, so uh, at least the time of this. And um, I hope you guys have been checking out the uh, the second channel. We got a, a new channel that's up. Um, and if you guys are watching this currently on YouTube, welcome. Because uh, these videos are being posted on YouTube, by the way. So... If you want to, you can say hi to those who watch it on YouTube. It'll be on the second channel. So. But yeah, that's pretty cool that, that uh, we got this to work. Put this back in. Should read the durability out. Hopefully. There we go. I had to reset it, apparently. There's the current durability. The item inside. And then once that drops down to 10, it will, of course... Do its thing. Okay. I think we had some steak. Yeah, we had some steak. That was prepped up. There we go. That's more like it. All right. So I want to, to get some more stuff today uh, done today. Like uh, maybe upgrade power. That's one thing we can do. Fishing rod. Because this right here for some reason is just not working. And I'm curious if it needs like this to be a source actually like around it like this surely not it didn't state that in the uh, instructions maybe maybe it is we'll find out hmm Uh, you can do exclamation point pack. We'll get you the information on the, what mod pack this is. Always on. Redstone required. <sighs> of course, we're out here. No, we have. We have power. Even that's full. Maybe we should make a, let's see, thermal and we'll make a battery. Don't we need a, a redstone infuser for this? Huh. Energy cell frame, and then we... Huh. Oh no, we don't need it. We don't need that. We just do it this way. Okay. So let's... Lead gear. Lead. Why? We don't have lead. Um... So it looks like mining is something we're definitely going to be doing today. Um, pick. Take a diamond pick. Let's see. What other pick do we need? I mean, I guess... I can make myself multiple diamond picks. 
we're gonna be harvesting for a while uh we have this inventory space but i also want my bag and that that might be good for now uh love your stuff man enjoying the stream awesome well i'm glad you're enjoying the stream Is there a mod pack that you want to try in the future? So there's a couple. People have been recommending Levitated to me. I, I might want to try that one out. You know, I'll see how that one, how that one is. I haven't had. I don't get a chance to look, really like re do a lot of research on what the next mod pack is going to be until I need to, you know, pick another another pack to play. What we'll end up doing, it, like if if I'm going after a mod pack, like right, if I'm if I start looking for another mod pack, what it will do is it'll it'll slowly draw me away from the mod pack that I'm playing, and it'll kind of cause me to lose interest. And I I don't want that to happen, right? Okay, so we're gonna go mining. Let me charge my drill up. And then as far as enchanting goes, we don't have a lot of levels on us. Um, and I wonder. Just throw some efficiency on this bad boy. That'll work. Man, we got all these mobs coming out of nowhere. Um, another pet. Well, we don't need a pet in the caverns because it's already bright there. Minus, it's not bright in the water. Do you ever look back at mod packs and older versions you want to try? I have. I have done that. And it's only your emotes that go in Minecraft chat? Oh, is it? I shouldn't just be, I don't think. Like, you can do a poggers. Um, even better Twitch TV emotes show up. Let me try. So if I use a hype ghost. Oh, hype. So those aren't in there, maybe. I don't know. I did turn the ones on for my my channel though. So things like Kappa should work. So stuff like that should work. <laughs> Even though it's the high res version of Kappa. <laughs> Alright. Time to go mining. Um I was thinking, let's see. pick. There is this pick that I really like. We don't have the party pickaxe, so that's something we can't do. But this pick is pretty sick. It's a pretty cool pick right here. The good old Matoc. Matoc. Alright, let's, uh, let's take a trip back to our old home. Let's head up in here. By the way, I want to deposit and pick up these guys. We got some strays. How'd the, these stragglers get loose? No idea. Unless there's a hole inside this place. Which, that there very well could be a hole. Let's get everybody inside. Holy smokes. Alright, everyone's in there. Wait. Wait. How'd they get? They're getting out. Oh, no. There's a hole in the roof. That's how they're getting out. I need to block this up. Let's close this up. They're escaping. They can't. They can't escape the sub bus. My goodness. We must keep them locked into the sub bus. You can't run. No, get over here. I'm just, I'm letting them all loose. All right, Goose, you got to go in here. All right, much better. You 
after everything's calmed down. Aqua Caverns is the less painful cavern to go mining in. Only mobs that spawn are the squids. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm... I'm gonna probably hit up. Since we already have access to that cavern. Um, I just wonder, like... Water breathing, underwater breathing, swim boost. Like, the squid pet, what does it eat? Raw fish. So, I wanted my raw fish. I want... So the squid pet is going to be super helpful for that dimension, but we can't get this to work. Why? Why is this not working? I'm going to try and breaking. I'm going to try breaking it and replacing it. Maybe it just uses a regular fishing pole. You know, maybe a regular fishing pole is like what we need to put in there. Good old regular old school fishing rod. Why is this not powering? You know what? Let's just take this off entirely. We'll just slap this on here. Now it's getting power. And now it should be fishing for me. <laughs> oh, all you need. Okay, so the squid morph. I didn't even think about that. That would be a little bit faster, wouldn't it? Using the morphs. Hmm. Would the squid morph be good or like maybe a shark or something? Come on, this has to fish something. I don't know what this means by three point. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I'll let that run for a little while. Uh, this, unfortunately we don't have like a chunk loader here. Um, ooh, we do have weirding gadgets. Uh, do we have enough gold? You know what? We might actually. Yeah, we can make a weirding gadget. Now we got the chunks loaded, so now this will stay loaded. Okay. So that's good. All right, eventually we'll get into uh, more power stuff. That's what I'm interested in. All right, fish. We have a couple pieces of raw fish. I, of course, need more, but that'll be good for now. All right, let's throw the raw fish in here. Lumani Petty, you ready? Dragon shield confirmed. Dude. Pog. We got a dragon shield. I don't, I don't know what these things do, but we have one. We have one. Yep. To match our aether... Or uh, we have our, our matching... Dragon Shield Tunic and also Dragon Shield. Why is this one blue text and this one's not? Don't know. So that it disables the crafting recipe. Ah! So here's the thing, what if you lose this one? What if this one dies? I don't think this fishing rod is working. Is it possible? I, I bet it is possible to get another one from the Illuminati pet. Probably. 
Possibly. Very, very possibly. Whip. Just raided you with 366 Flip. raiders. I gotta have some coffee for this one. Guys, welcome in. Flip, thank you for the raid. I hope you're a hardcore fun. Was fun. Did I say that? Cringe, right? Cringe. Thank you so much. They are caught up. I hope you're doing all right. Of course, I asked you in your stream. Welcome in, Raiders. <laughs> if you didn't know, I'm Chosen Architect. I normally play modded Minecraft. I'm a pretty heavily dominant modded Minecraft Stone Wolf, player, YouTuber, just resubscribe whatever you want to call one me. Sub for 15 Stone months. Wolfie, thank you so much. Uh, we have some interesting things that can happen here in chat, here in game. All kinds of cool stuff uh, you can do. I like to be as interactive as possible. So we have some really cool stuff that, that actually happens. And um, yeah, so <laughs> welcome in everybody. After that uh, introduction, this pack we're playing is called Uncle Jenny's 100% Organic Free Range Mod Pack. I think that's, I think I got that right. I think I did. It's a really long name. Don't ask me. It's just, it's a really long, really long name. Wow. Uh, Flip, thank you so much for that raid. Right now we're trying to get automated fishing working. Uh, it does look like it is working now that we've used a regular fishing bowl. Um, yeah, we're uh, we're catching f cave fish apparently. Cave fishing. We're actually about to go mining, so I know a lot of you guys enjoy mining, as uh, I know Flip does a lot of mining. A lot. <laughs> a forever mining as a Minecraft YouTuber. Um, so let's go ahead and take a quick trip to where we're actually going to be mining at, and that is the Aqua Caverns. Get ready. Get ready. I don't think you guys are ready for the Aqua Caverns. Welcome to the Aqua Caverns. And I don't know if we can do this or not. Chat was saying, hey, why don't you morph into a squid? And that's a great idea. Um, what is a squid? Oh, it gives me night vision. Oh, wow. It's actually really fast. Oh, this is, this is perfect. This is perfect. Oh, I got to add that to my, uh, favorites. Oh, look at this. And yeah, mining. I'm after coal. So there we go. Also, this is random ore. Which can give us random effects and stuff like that. So pretty neat overall. <laughs> like you don't have to worry about your heart level here. Yeah, I don't have to worry about my heart level here. I really don't. I've died like several times though. Uh, it just, just happens randomly, especially when chat tries to kill you. Chosen squid for the win. We are... <laughs> Dude, <laughs> now just imagine this. Just imagine this, but glowing. All right, hear me out. This, but glowing. All right, not. It's not even gonna like actually glow. It's just going to. It's just gonna be a little bit brighter. This, the texture. Right. Hear me out. And we're gonna call it. The glow squid. All right. I think that's... That that should be... I think Minecraft should add that, right? 100% that should be added to vanilla Minecraft. They'd be crazy not to do that. Crazy. This stuff... Uh, let's see. Let's find some ore. Like, we're actually after coal and stuff. So I'm kind of after coal. Diamonds galore, by the way. There are so much diamonds. So many diamonds in this world. Look at this. Look, this is diamonds. I don't know. The funny thing is, is are diamonds even useful? Kind of. So many diamonds. <laughs> I 
You guys ever wanted the satisfaction of mining a bunch of diamonds? Here you go. Also, my inventory is stacked. Don't get me wrong. Where do we get biotite? I guess we got that from... It's too much. Platinum ore. Um, are, are you on a server? No, I'm definitely not on a server. This is all single player. For the most part, I tend to play single player. Uh, we do have sub servers though that are up. We actually have two sub servers. Um, and I have plans to play on those here in the future though. Got some sub server stuff that I have planned to, to do. All in the future. By the way, the more we mine in this dimension, the higher our actual mining level increases. And it can give us access to buffs and stuff. Um, I was hoping there would be like a speed buff, but I haven't seen one. This ore is really important too, because this actually gives us like random stuff. Like Signalium blend and stuff. If, uh, if modded Minecraft is new to you, that's 100% fine. Like if you don't understand like what Signalium is and, and all the stuff. T1 Fangirl it's just all good. subscribed with oh a tier gosh. one sub. See what, fangirl? No! I'll get you a new one. T1 fangirl. Hurry! Just subscribe to the tier one sub. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Thank, <laughs> thank you for that tier one sub. I do appreciate that. <laughs> my goodness um i wonder how well this works underground so like not only does the squid, the squid gives you like actually like actual block breaking speed like full full block breaking speed it's kind of insane actually so long as we don't get lost I don't want to get lost. I want to make sure I remember where this is at. I probably need to put a waypoint here. Actually, what is just a signpost? All right, let's uh, let's get a little little weird and just do camel case and do signpost like that. Perfect. I got to get used to typing in camel case since right now I'm going through a job of course. Oh my gosh, all the diamonds. Um, so I need other materials too. And I don't know if this dimension is going to be the best for finding. Uh, maybe, maybe so. Here's some lead. Silver. I do need some of this. I need mostly lead though. one single piece of lead there if this is if this if this isn't the most interesting like mining you've ever seen then I, I don't know what is uh do i need anything on me sent here no OMG, what is that bag? This bag is called the Handy Bag. And basically you can set memory cards and each one of these equals an inventory slot. It can do auto pickup. It can do inventory shifting feature. It's got all kinds of crazy stuff, sorting. Um, but if you increase the uh, memory card size, this right here will hold a single stack of items in a single slot. But say you upgrade to the next tier, it'll hold multiple stacks of items in a single slot. So it'll hold like uh, 256 cobblestone in one single inventory slot. Like, and it gets crazy. And each one of these memory cards that are in here actually holds an entire thing of stuff. 
Not to mention, on top of that, you also have this giant bag that you can hold all kinds of stuff in. It can it can do the same thing, like auto pickup. Let's activate our Illuminati pet real quick. What do we get? Do we get bone mill? Bone mill confirmed. Oh my gosh. Our Illuminati pet, by the way, is a pet that consumes emerald nuggets and has a chance to give you pretty much any any item in the game. Uh, it's yeah, it's it's as OP as you think it is, but I don't think it's as OP as being able to fly, which is what this pet does <laughs> that we found. So yeah, we've done a lot of soul searching, a lot of inventory pet searching, soul searching. What's wrong with me? We know we need all this material, which you think would be easy. I think it's easier to just normally mine to find all this tin and copper. Who's that? Prismarine? Yeah, we need all this bag space considering all this junk that we're acquiring. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, that's right. We need, uh... We need our steak. Perfect. Lucky block confirmed, but a pet. Except for, like, it's 100% lucky because there's really not anything that you could, that would, like, happen that would be bad. That would be a good feature to add to it, though. Like, make it work on 100%. A good item you get it could be a bad effect that you get applied to you. Oh, that's right. We're out of cookies. Oh, well, so we don't even need this anymore. Just take it out of our inventory. That's right. I'm out of cookies. Red sand. I swear this dimension is... is it gets weirder and weirder the more we explore. Didn't I have a magnet as well? Where'd my magnet go? Must be back at the base. Yeah, it's got a five minute cooldown on it. I forgot to mention that. Uh, so it says, I can provide info on the Illuminati pet. You can find it or craft it using Emerald Nuggets. Per Nugget, the Illuminati pet random. Yeah. So you can craft it in here if you want to. But requires another star. And I have yet to fight a, uh, a Wither. If you're wondering what, like, what I'm actually looking for, so coal is one, but also lead and a couple of other things. There's apparently some generator stuff that we can get into that I haven't dabbled in yet that utilizes this. The... Magnites stuff. The blocks of it, right? Generator. Solid fuel generator for AIM systems. In a world of instant message and interwebs, five minutes can seem like a long time. I don't know. If you're distracted by playing Minecraft, you really forget. Time goes by so fast. I don't know. Five minutes. I mean, maybe if you're just watching. But for me, it doesn't seem like much time at all. Ruby, Ruby B, what's up? What's up with you?
Five minutes is long only when you're bored. Exactly. Oh, man. Like, I remember just staring at the clock at work. Five minutes would feel like ages. So I just heard the noise. So that means Illuminati Pet's ready. Like, I bet you didn't even realize. We just ended up getting an Electrum Excavator from Thermal Foundation. Come on. I want to get down here. Being a squid has its perks and its limitations. <laughs> it really does. There's diamond down there. There's diamond all over the place though, to be honest. Do we really even need diamond? Five minutes is a long time when you're excited for something. Oh man, you know what's the worst? The day before a vacation and you're trying to sleep and you leave the next morning. Oh man. And you're getting ready for the vacation. Oh, that's the worst. When you know, when you're anticipating. Hey, Chosen, loving this mod pack? Awesome. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Don't you have another Illuminati pet? Uh, the cooldown is, is on both. It doesn't... You can't just have two of them. They don't have, like, separate cooldowns. It's like a global cooldown. Trying to use it. There, there's not any creepers that spawn down here. I mean, that I know of. I, w I would say I bet this would make a great place for a mob farm, but it probably wouldn't at the same time. Because of all the squid would make it really hard. Is there a void? Like a, a void dimension? There are other dimensions other than this that we haven't even explored yet. Right? Our book tells us. this song though um IRC the aquamarine is used to make pickaxes to mine fast I feel like the squid lets you mine fast anyways. But is there a dink null? Uh, null. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be. Oh, if I spell null right. Yeah, there's nulls. Uh, yeah, there's a nullifier from uh, this mod from the Ender Utilities mod, which I think is nicer than your standard open blocks dev null, which only holds, uh, I think, one item. And dank nulls is not in here. But the one from the Ender Utilities is actually really good. All this stuff from Ender Utilities is pretty good, though. I think this is a very underrated mod. It was used in Sky Factory 4, and I absolutely loved it in Sky Factory 4. So getting it also in SevTech, Ages of the Sky, and replaying that, and actually understanding how it works now that I'm playing through 
so it's it's so crazy now that I'm playing um so Sevtech again. When I played through Sevtech the first time, it blew my mind all the stuff that was in it that I didn't know how to use. Now that I'm playing through it, I have most likely used almost every single mod that's in there. Minus a couple that I haven't really bothered with uh, messing with, but I was I'm able to get through that pack so much quicker now. It's insane. Just because I, I know how these mods work. I think that's the biggest hurdle. But I still, e even without knowing how a lot of the mods worked, I was able to get through Sevtech Ages for the most part the first time around. I think that pack is like perfect for everybody. Still one of my top, top packs. Both versions now. I think the Skyblock version is actually easier, in my opinion, than the first in the uh, normal version. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, um, I have a series over on YouTube uh, where I'm currently playing a mod pack called Sevtech Ages of the Skies. And it is a Skyblock type mod pack where you pretty much start as a caveman and you work your way through um, the Ages, which is really cool. You start off as a caveman where you're literally... Where you're literally Scraping leather, um, dipping it in water, drying it out, salting it, uh, and repeating those tasks over and over again. Did you hear NVIDIA need a new thing called RTX Studio? Yes. I have no need for it, though, as I do use a proper green screen. I have a decent camera that works with it. Um, and I actively use uh, NVIDIA RTX Voice anyways. So the only thing that that studio would offer would be like that green screen camera support, like without needing a green screen. And I mean, it somewhat works. And I don't know, I don't, it would have to beat out all of the features that Streamlabs OBS offers. And that's a pretty tough one to bite. That's pretty tough. They would have to offer all of that plus something else that would make me want to change. Uh, so you want to play this mod pack? You don't know what release and or launcher to use. So if you if you click that link that is was just posted by my bot, um, it should automatically let you know what launcher to use uh, because that's the that actual website that the pack is hosted on, which is called Curse Forge. And from there you can use things like the Twitch launcher. That's a, a launch pack that you can use or a launcher for launching mods. And as far as what release version, it should be the latest that is listed on that page. I wouldn't download the pack from anywhere else. Uh, if you're downloading this pack from somewhere else, it's probably not legit. And it's not from the, the source there. It's been, it's been kind of a crazy ride here recently. We had somebody that posted something over on our discord and uh, he first of all hopped in the the voice chat i was hanging out in voice chat and he opted to ask me a question and then went on to say hey can you support my youtube channel and i was like you know what let me just see you know send me a link to your youtube channel i was like for one thing it's not it's not pinned in your your discord profile which is you know not everybody does but that's a good start right to start advertising your stuff at least make it accessible for people um but finally, after he finally figured out how to link it onto the Discord in our uh, in our promotions uh, section, I checked it out, and the first thing I seen was this dude straight up was copying my thumbnails. I was like, "All right, all right, uh, that's okay. I mean, just, that's that's irritating, but I'm not, you know, his his channel wasn't big enough. I, I'm not worried about it, right? It's not a big deal. I'll get over it. Right? A lot of people do that." It's understandable, I guess. Even though it's not right, it's understandable. But then I looked and it said, it said this. It, it, this was like one of the titles. How to download Sevtech Ages on Android or iOS. And that's when I was like, oh no. Oh no. Straight up scam video, guarantee. Load it up. 
straight up playing on PC and then switches over to a mobile interface where he's showing how to download like, like files and stuff to load it up on mobile. I'm just like, oh no, no. I was like, you're not, and he's in voice chat. I'm like, you're not literally trying to like make clickbait scammy videos like that, are you? And wanting me to promote that. <sighs> that was an interesting night. Interesting night. I, Dude, the weird things, and it's so upsetting to me because I, I hate when people give other people misinformation like that, where they give people the hope that they can play modded Minecraft or anything like that on a, on your mobile platform. Yeah, that would be great. Like if you could have the Java experience on Android or on iOS, that would be amazing. That's not the case though. It's not the case. I think the best Minecraft experience you're gonna get on Android and mobile is going to be the bedrock edition of Minecraft. It is, that's going to be the best Minecraft experience. You're not gonna be playing a, a full-fledged mod pack on there. Yes, there are some like weird ports and stuff that people's made like without permission from mod devs. Uh, you know, people's taking other people's code and using it for their own gain. That's not cool, but still to, to display like misinformation like that. Oh, that was super cringy. And I was just like, <sighs> I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Gotta be kidding me. Wanted me to promote that. Anyways, I was saying that because somebody mentioned um, we were talking about uh, on here, you know, where to download a mod pack from. And the, it, just the sheer amount of misinformation is the unfortunate part. You got all these fake websites that are hosting and saying, here's where you download these things. And it's not the place where you should be downloading them. Most likely they're packaged with something that you sh you probably don't want to be putting on your computer, you know, things like that. It's very, it's very unfortunate. All right, time to go, everyone. Um, Nod Varsity, have a good one. Wish you the best of luck. Yeah, good luck on that test. Good luck. Where are we at now? Pretty good. Oh, so speaking of stuff that you should start with uh, environmental tag, it'll help with the resource. So the thing with environmental tag though is I need a lot, I need power. And I need a lot of it. Environmental tech like eats your power. And I don't know if he's changed any of the configs to make it more power hungry or he's, he's left it default. I haven't checked the configs. But I know by default, the, the first tier is not super bad. But it still eats into the resources that we don't have for power at the moment. I, I, I am getting into um, mechanism for a reason. And that's because the power generation from mechanism there has the potential to to be a uh, a bit nicer i was wondering i i don't know if it's an add-on for mechanism but isn't there a way to generate steam with mechanism i'm pretty sure i seen bentley do it and he was he had some kind of setup in another mod pack where he had something from mechanism generating steam and was powering the steam generator from immersive engineering or is it an add-on to mechanism for that steam generator i think the turbines is an add-on isn't it did i go to college so i went to i went to one semester of college <laughs> uh after i lost my my job at the factory uh I, when i started like originally started doing youtube full-time I was like, you know what? I can also, like, I, I might be able to try out college and see if it's something that I'm interested in. I had the time to do it. I had the ability to do it, and I went after it. I did just fine in college. I had no problem. I passed my first semester of college. Um, I was actually taking classes that, you know, first-year students normally would have been taking, and I passed. I was on the dean's list. The problem is, is it wasn't for me. It wasn't for me. Um, the course that I was taking, which was going to be an IT tech specialist, it was a joke. It was an absolute joke. That program was a joke. 
And unfortunately, I didn't want to waste my time on a two-year program that would make me the same salary as someone working in a factory. Like, I don't want... I was like, that makes no sense to waste two years. So, I'm uh, right now what I'm working on, and this is actually what I actually want to do later in life. Like, I, I, I really want to pursue this. Right now, I am, I am full-fledged pursuing what I'm pursuing right now, which is web development. And so, I'm going to spend however many years it takes for me to learn this while I'm also doing YouTube. I'm literally studying every night in, on my own. Um, I'll be taking, if I can get into a boot camp, I will hopefully be able to get into a boot camp, a coding boot camp. Um, and or might be able to find a college online where I can take um, web development classes online through some other college because there's no way I'll be able to I, there's no way I want to travel you know and, and move away from my my kids and stuff so right now I'm looking at front end web development and if because I, I am a creative person I love creating stuff so I'm looking at yeah front end uh, front end web development. If if I do feel like uh, back end is also something that I want to learn after I've gotten front end down, then I'll work towards full stack. But first of all, I want to get front end web development down because I think I will enjoy that more. If you're getting into web development, you're learning Java rather than JavaScript. Um, I'm not learning Java. I'm learning JavaScript. When did I say I'm learning Java? No, no, I'm learning JavaScript, not Java. They're two, two totally different things. No, no, I, I didn't say I'm learning Java. I said Java might be something that I decide to learn after all of this stuff. Uh, just because I would love to be able to like, you know, make my own mod one of these days. What is that? That was a weird effect. There's like some weird effect that just happened. It's so weird getting all these random items. Oh yeah, Minecraft modding, yeah. So, but, but that's not even on my mind right now. Like worrying about like Java is not on my mind. JavaScript, on the other hand, I'm currently learning JavaScript right now. It's going to be a, I think JavaScript, so CSS, easy, uh, easy to learn, easy to understand. HTML, easy to learn, easy to understand. Referencing the stuff's easy to, to, to do. JavaScript, on the other hand, that one's going to be tough for me, I think. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to be tough. But, I mean, I've already kind of figured it out. Like, I, I've already started on, like, my, my first, like, little project. And, um... So. I think right now I'm learning, uh, loops at the moment. So I'm, I'm learning the basics, right? So I'm learning for loops and while loops. Can uh, the randomite give you literally anything? No, I got him. I got him. <laughs> I got your mini me. We need more pets. Epic subset, thank you. Man, this coffee is getting good. Oh my goodness. I think we're almost done. My inventory is almost completely filled. I think I need more coal. So I might fill the rest of it with coal. And go from there, right? Also, as much lead as I can grab, because that's going to be needed as well. No creative items. Yeah, no, the creative items are hidden. Um, even from the Illuminati pet, you can't get creative items. So, eh. I just, I really think, you know, back on the subject of, uh, of web development and, and stuff. Uh, and, and college. 
So, like I said, I, I I enjoyed college. Don't get me wrong. Like, it was fun. It was fun and stressful at the same time. Um, college riding was probably the most stressful. <laughs> Even though I passed it, it was, uh, that was really nice. Um teacher even complimented me on my uh we had to write an mla and apa paper commented me commented on my argument um which he really enjoyed he was like you know he's like every year i get the same subjects i get the same arguments every year it's usually like about gun reform or it's arguments about abortion or it's it's arguments about things like that he was like i've never had anyone get into the subject that i chose uh, which makes complete sense as it's not like something that's usually talked about a lot, which was, um, uh, genetic modifications like, uh, luxury babies. Right. Uh, so that's what I wrote in a, an argument. I wrote an argument against that genetic modifications. Um, which I mean, honestly, I wrote against it because it was easier to write against not that it wouldn't be cool to see, but I do think there's some consequences that could potentially happen because of it. But it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool to learn about. It was, um, if you do, here's a here's like a, uh, a little tip. If you're in college or you're going to, uh, planning on going to college and you're planning on getting uh, into college writing and you have to, which you're gonna have to take anyways. And uh, when you're writing an essay, if you're writing an argument of essay, choose something you don't know anything about and then read up a little bit about it and then pick a side that's going to be the easiest to write about and then do your research on the the pros and cons of both and uh when you do that over something you're, you don't know about uh it makes it a lot easier to write about in my opinion especially to write something to argue against that way you have an equal amount of pros and cons right because it's what you're learning about The only thing I know that even resembles code in any way is Minecraft commands. Isn't Minecraft commands just um, JSON? Yeah, it's just JSON formatted stuff. Um, how have you not drowned? Also, in this dimension, you don't drown. But still, I'm a squid. <laughs> this is what happens. <laughs> this is what happens, all right? <laughs> when you can be anything you want in the game. Like, let's, let's just take a look, for example. What if I want to be a whale? D ignore that giant dragon that just passed by. <laughs> what about a... A literal whale. Yeah, we can be that too. It's not a big deal. You know, who cares? We're just a we're just a whale. A big whale. So big I can't even fit it on my screen. It's Shamu. <laughs> I think the shark is a pretty cool one though. Shark's pretty cool. And the shark's pretty fast as well. Well, cave mining. Does this guy also get the glowy? Yeah. He can see underwater too. I think the squid though is a little bit better. As it's smaller. Ooh, we have a white variant of the shark. How much inventory space do we have? We have enough for a little bit more. A little bit more coal. Glow squid leaked. Yep. 
Could you imagine Glow Squid being in this Shadow area? Star Killer. Oh my god. Just wait, 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 Shadow Star Killer with the 70 months. Months. Can we go for 24? 24 is a goal. Yes, I know you can do it. I know you can. Many have done it before you. You should be able to succeed. There's nothing preventing you from doing so. You got this. All right, Cole, where's it at? Here's some. Hmm. Some more coal. All right, over here. I wish we would have morphed into this the first time we were in here. <laughs> like, wait, Minecraft, but you're a squid. Right. You know, I bet for someone, this is like at a level of nope. For some reason they have like, maybe they have like a squid phobia. So this like stream right now is straight up at a level of nope that is out of this world. Is that the Aqua Caverns? Yes, it is. It's fantastic. It's really good when you're a squid. Like this is really nice. It's beautiful. You thought the morph mod was mainly cosmetic? No, all this stuff has an effect. Actually, one of the morphs lets you fly, which I don't know. They said they knew about it, but I don't know if it was an oversight or it was intentional. It does give you some like negative effects, like your FOV is really, really, really messed up. But I feel like that was probably intentional, but I don't know if the flight itself was intentional. Because everything else doesn't let you fly. They intentionally let that one in because it was hard to get. How was it hard to get? Wait. The drone? No, no, no. The drone's not hard. You literally just need a drone constructor. Like, all you need is two diamonds. And this spawns it in. No, the, the bat morph just gives you glide. All of them give you glide, except for the one thing... Which is this one. This this literally spawns in the drone and you kill it. And then you get the morph. That's how easy it was to get that. The mob is hard to kill. I killed it with this yo-yo in like one second. I was like, boop, 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 dead. Boop, boop, yeah, it, it went exactly like that. It went boop, 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 dead. 100%. It's exactly what happened. No one will tell you any difference. This pack reminds you of Fullcraft? Um... I don't really have anything like that to compare it to because I've never played full craft. Uh, I think it's, I remember full craft being played. Was it full craft or what, am I thinking of another? I'm thinking of troll craft or something like that. Not full craft. There's so many mod packs that have been named like that. I like that when you're a squid, it's, you kind of use that like 3D positioning to move yourself around. It's like a, it's that 3D positioning sort of movement where it follows the cursor. Oh, did we miss? Oh no, we missed a sub. No, we didn't, didn't we? Oh, it just hasn't hasn't gone through yet. Oh, let's hurry, hurry and get back home. Oh wait, we gotta hurry up and switch morphs. <laughs> We're gonna drown, uh, like literally drowned. Drenegade, just resubscribe. There with the we tier go. One wow, perfect timing. Perfect timing. Let's throw you out here. 
Look at that. Oh, gotta pick you up. We got stuff going on. We got Skele Skeletor over here. There we go. All right. <laughs> um, so we got, what is that supposed to be? It's Renegade. Oh, PhD Renegade. Wow, my brain when words are put together does not want to cooperate. Thank you for the five month resub. Hey man, how's it, how's it going with you? Oh, by the way, I need to uh, take, take you back real quick. I almost forgot. Of course, the army is approaching, as you can see. Yikes, wow. We gotta get people back on the bus. Wait. Where'd all my peeps go? Is it not working because of this? We lost all of our subs. Oh no. It's the COVID bus hype. <laughs> oh my gosh. It really is though. Like I don't suggest partying in an RV. Uh, like, like these guys are. Like this is probably a level of partying in an RV that you probably shouldn't do right now. Like just, just saying. Like that's a lot of partying going on. That may be... Should I make a yo-yo? A oh, dude, a yo-yo is 100% you should make. This one's an enchanted yo-yo that we found in a, che in, a, in a chest. What chest do we find that in? We need to go find more of those chests because I'm sure there's more good loot in them. This is actually the yo-yo-yo, which is uh, generic B, B's yo-yo, right? <laughs> all right, let's unload all of our stuff here. Holy smokes, we got a lot to unload. So much to unload. We need like an exporter. And then maybe I can get some power and we'll check our fish too. Maybe I'll have some fish. Cause that's really nice for night vision. Ooh, look at that. We're getting some stuff. Got a lure right here. Ooh, it's got mending, even though we can't really use mending right now. That's like a normal fisher. Very nice. So I wanted to show this drone. I don't know where all of our stuff... We have stuff that's literally just disappearing. Did the drone constructor just d disappear after we got it? I don't... What is this? Watermelon ice cream taco. Excuse me? Excuse me. What? Waffle shell? Watermelon ice cream. Dude, that sounds good. Too bad California isn't in the UK. What? I have never heard California and UK in the same sentence before. I honestly have never. <laughs> Eat the taco. I don't know if we can yet. I'll keep it. I'll keep it on us. I bet it has like some nice buffs or something, right? No telling. You can explain, explain California and UK. Too bad California isn't in the UK. Y Are you saying you want the UK to burn? Is that like, I'm pretty sure you don't want California wildfires to be in the UK. Pretty sure. Pretty sure you don't want that. Even though it would probably be more sunny if California was in the UK, right? <laughs> it wouldn't be raining all the time because isn't it, isn't it raining all the time in the UK? Isn't that the meme that it's always raining? 
pretty sure that's the meme. Uh-oh. Get out of here. Let's put this coal over here so we get our power up and running. We have very simple power running right now. Oh, it represents what people are doing in California. Ah, okay. I have no idea. I don't live in California. Where I'm living, they are not doing anything as of right now. Like, everything's open. But, of course, I live in a more rural area, so it's not the same here as it is in other places. But I have been to cities. Actually, we just recently went to a city, and I can tell you that it was even dead in the city compared to normal, which was actually kind of nice. It was kind of refreshing. Traffic wasn't even bad. It was really actually kind of pleasant. Kind of pleasant. All right, what are we missing in our bag here? Because I need my Illuminati pet emeralds. We got seeds. Cookies? Oh, it's because we took that out of our bag, didn't we? Ah. Cold. Could fill that with coal. We still got diamonds in here, right? Diamonds. Okay, we're, we're looking pretty good. Looking mighty fine. Okay, so one thing I wanted to make, which we need ore, right? So I, I gathered a little bit of ore with a little bit of this. A little bit of this, 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 this. Platinum. All right. We had our ore processing that was over here. Did, I, did it ever, like... Oh, we got we got stuff. Throw this into our pulverizer. That's gonna head over here. We got our kebabs. That didn't do anything. Look at all this cooked food we got. Mmm, yummy. We got some resources. We're getting somewhere. I need to get a battery though. It's so late for you, dude. It is not late at all for me. It's only six o'clock, but it is dark outside, which is so weird at this time of year. I have to say like the, the approach of winter, in my opinion, is the most depressing part of winter. Winter itself is awesome, dude. Christmas time is amazing. The approach into fall, like from fall into winter, that's when it gets like depressing. So for most people, it's like dark when they go to work. And then it's dark when they come home from work. So I can totally understand that. Um, free range. Is it better than non-free range? Yes. Yes, it is. Have you ever had free range before? Have you ever had some free range eggs and compared them to non-free range? Well, you, I guess if you had, you wouldn't be asking the question, wouldn't you? It's very true. Okay. By the way, um, I did some really neat stuff with this the other day. Um, if you're wondering what this setup is, just imagine this. This thing right here, uh, or this thing right here is reading this block, and it's looking at this item that's inside and reading the metadata off of it and finding the durability. Displaying the durability, also using the durability here to turn this off when the, dur when the durability drops down to 10. As soon as this drops down to 10 durability, this machine will shut off, thus not using it anymore, so I can pull it out, and so it doesn't delete it. Because it'll actually break it, I do believe. Uh, the item will just disappear. Just like any other tool. And all of this is what's allowing that to happen. So it was a pretty, pretty neat little setup that uh, got, set, got set up the other day. But I have experimented with a couple other things. There's some part particle generators that I would actually like to, to mess with. Um, I showed this, I think, in today's video. Let me create another variable store. We got a lot of these items. Um, so you can actually output like all kinds of different stuff. There's an audio, let's see, let's pull out our... You know what, I think say, where did I put this? It's right here. Need my variable cards, need a little bit of cable, grab my wrench. And what do I want? I want the effect writer. 
The machine rider I think is kind of cool in what it can do. Effect rider, audio rider. Uh, there's also some cool things we can do with these lighting panels, which actually I might want to get into. Is this a static light panel? Isn't this like always on? I don't remember. Static light panel. Dynamic. Whoa, I was about to say, what is that noise? All right, so this one says simple light panel that is always active. Dynamic displays variable. Okay. I want the one that's always active, which is this one. Static. wonder what we can do with this. Like if we can place this here and then place... Ooh. Fancy. And we can facade these too. These are kind of cool on their own. So facading them would probably be a good idea. I love the sound effect Chosen makes. <laughs> Oh man, I was listening the other day, um, and it reminded me, I really need to get on that Spooter shirt merch. A shirt that has a spider on it and it says Spooter. I really need to get on that. Look at this. Would you look at this? Would you look at that? Breaking my torches. Okay, so like right here, putting a light panel. And then grabbing some facade. Got to be careful with facades, though. They actually eat the items. I didn't realize that the first time around. So what's this going to look like? We facade it up. Where's my flying pet? A cloud. Not exactly what I was expecting. You often have a love-hate relationship with the kitchen sink style? Oh yeah. I mean, this is a little bit more than a kitchen sink, I would say. I wouldn't say this is like full on kitchen sink. Uh, there's some stuff that is changed. Everybody has their own opinion on what is and isn't kitchen sink. It says kitchen sink, but at the same time, it's not your normal kitchen sink. I don't know. I don't, I don't really like that. Mm -mm. I don't like how it affects the uh, the block. This is a nope for me. This isn't working. It's a nope. It would be cool to use this lighting panel for some other stuff, but hmm, it's a nope for me. What do you think, chat? Is that a is that a good nope? I think that's a good nope. <clears throat> I think we could use other things like other lamps better than this. I would like to set up the TPS thing, though. Um, I wish we could display information with RF tools the same way. The RF tool screens are a lot better. Um, these are just kind of like information panels with integrated dynamics. <clears throat> I guess things all set their own ID. What? Can these be reset by putting them in here? Weird. Well, they all ended up setting their own ID. Okay. Um, 
Let's do this. Let's grab a world reader. Inventory, machine, network, redstone, world reader. Grab a world reader. We need a variable store. We need our variable cards, which we have here. We're going to need four of these screens. So we'll need some outputs. Uh, is glowstone nope? Uh, glowstone's not a nope. The, we have chisel, so we can make glowstone look nice, but there's there's variants of glowstone that look really good. That is so loud. That follow notification sound is so loud in a cave. Holy smokes. I think that's about it. That's all we really need, right? We need uh, the cables. We also need the facades. Um, we'll have some more stone that shows up shortly. Overall, I think that's about it. That should be good. Let's just make sure. Um, yeah, the world reader. I was going to make the other thing, but I... Mm, nah. Paid range mod pack. Where are you getting paid? What are you talking about? This would be a good place for the tick times information. Another cool use for this would be like to display the players that are actively online in some way. I just wish there was a better screen for this. I just wish I wish the screen setup was a little bit nicer than what I'm about to show you. Um, invalid object on line column one path. Did you just, you just broke? <laughs> I don't know how that broke it. I guess because of the quotations, really. Because it's, it's technically a string. And a double quotated string Basically, yeah, a double quoted string does this. So, if if you were to to if it the JSON was to be read, it would read this as if there was something in between here, but since there's not, it kills the it kills it. That's interesting because it reads that this is the string, but since there is no string, it doesn't know what this is. So really you could get away with doing this single quote. And I think a single quote would work. I would have to define that though. Will this read single quotes? Twitch chat output. Um, can I get away with a single quote? Actually, let's do double quote here, text, and then where it says message. Where's my message? Right here. Can I do single quotes? Does that break JSON? Or does that break the, uh, so can you test again with the double quote message? <clears throat> I want to see if that fixes it. Now, if you do single quote, it will break. Okay. So that broke still. Oh, it's just broken altogether. Okay. So it's good to know that that will not accept double quotes there. does not take double quotes or does it not does not take single quotes which makes sense because JSON's a little bit more finicky so now if I test chat should be back working again <laughs> if you're interested in and what's all making everything run in the background there you go there you go that's how how it's running <clears throat> I kind of overbroke that. That was not intentional. Okay, so I want to set this up. Let's create a torch. 
What I need is a variable store. I'm just gonna simply place in this world reader. Place the world reader somewhere connected to this. Can I place it? No, I don't want it there. This takes forever. I need to be using this instead. Place the world reader there. Why not? Okay. So all the display screens can go here, 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 and here. <clears throat> and I've got to get a little bit of information from all of these. This one, for example, we'll divide this up and get some information. All right, one second. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back before we get started with this. All right, we're back. Woo! All right. So, um, have I messed with Tropicraft? Yes, I absolutely have. Welcome back, everybody. I had to do a quick errand for my wife to help her out. So, back to Integrated Dynamics. Let's go ahead and hop back into this and uh, jump back where I was at um, currently. So, right here, we have our world reader. Uh, this can tell you a lot of different things, like it can tell you the current weather. Can tell if it's raining, thundering, if it's day or not, by a true or false boolean, um, a rain countdown timer. Like, literally, once this hits that, I think it has a, it should start raining. <laughs> the current tick time. So right here, it's at 12. Um, basically, this is reading out in milliseconds, but the decimal point would be right here. Then we have the daytime, uh, the light level TPS actual time in the game all kinds of your stuff the, the name of the world the current players that are online there's all kinds of cool stuff you can do <clears throat> so I want to grab a couple of uh, things I want to grab the TPS I want to grab the tick time because these are all info like important informations for me anyways I want to figure out how though to get this from an integer and turn it into a decimal. You'd think it would work just by dividing it. Isn't there like an actual... Chosen crew has chosen you, question mark? What? Have you never heard of that? I just heard, I am in a def I am on a completely different game, but that creeper noise still got you. Dude, the creeper noise gets me too. I it's it's insane. Wait, let's do our Illuminati pet. What do we get? A white so we got a white silver shulker box nice okay so we could just we if we wanted to we could just display this information that's 20 and this is that super long number right um i want this to be changed um this is where a variable store comes in handy and we use this um i just don't know how to get it to display a decimal point because I would love it to display a decimal point. These colors, there are too many. What are you talking about? <laughs> So we definitely don't move around. This is something I don't know how to do yet. I'm sure it's super easy too.
anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and get this down. Let's do integer. I'm going to divide it by 1 million. To get my number. What does it do if I do this? One. What does this display? That's definitely not what I want. So if you do it backwards, it's definitely not going to give you what you want. I just wanted to see what that would, what if what it would give me. <clears throat> so I want to take our number and then divide that by 1,000 or 1 million. There we go. And then put these in our variable store. And that should give us our number of tick time. Um, then I want my strings, simple. One says TPS. And then one to say, um, tick time. Perfect. Get some nice information displaying up here. Um, and that should be it. Now we just need to facade this. I wish it didn't make it clear like that, but that's just the screen, I think, illuminating the area. You'd like to name him here Bambi? It's only gonna it's only gonna show up as your Twitch name. So sorry for that confusion, but it does say it in the tooltip. That creeper hiss. Looking at the channel points and I realized something. You totally missed the opportunity to call them chosen architokens. Did I? They're called crew points. I call everybody, everybody's a part of the crew. The Chosen Architect crew. That's how, that's what it's been for a while though. I've been calling everybody the crew for, man, forever. Hope that makes sense. Okay, never mind. sorry. No, you're fine. I, on Twitter, I, I decided to change my name for once and I, na I set myself to Chosen Spook Protect. And then I realized everybody's using Spook as the way to change their name. So I was like, you know, what? I'm going to change mine to Goblin Tech because that sounds way cooler and is actually something that's in Terraria. Sounds way cooler. <laughs> One of these guys literally took my torch that was here. We could probably set up something that automates this. Oh my gosh, the mobs. Why did it decide to live underground? We could have been above ground and no mobs would have spawned. You guys had to make this decision. We get green carpet. Oh, we got cactus green. All right, we can eat this taco now. Yum. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> That's all that happened. Just yum. All right. Don't know why, but it got you and you're not even playing. I'm so like dead to that sound. I'm so dead to that sound at the moment. 
Maybe we have all of her stuff done now. Perfect. Hey man, how's it going? It's going pretty good. What version of the mod pack is this? This is the latest version. <laughs> I don't know why that question gets asked so many times. Because, like, on the Twitch launcher, it, it's literally... I would be playing the latest version. Like, this is the same one that everyone else has. I do I do get that question a lot, though. Oh. Oh. It's like we, it's like we run into one problem after another. Like, now we need to go find sand. Heel ridden. Just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Um, we got a dead sub. Maybe? <laughs> uh, hell rotten. I hope I said that right. Is it? Is that right? Thank you for the Twitch Prime. I have no idea where your mini me went. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... Heel ridden. Get you a new one. Just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Get you a new one so I can pick you up. Right? And this is working. I don't know why it wasn't working earlier. Now it's working. We have Bobby Fan. Weird. It wasn't working earlier. Eh, we got him, though. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime, by the way. Welcome to the crew. Glad you're here. Hope you stay. Hope you enjoy your time with all your fellow crewmates. And be sure to hop on the Discord and get your... Uh, and hop on them sub servers that we got. Awesome community over there. It would have been your grandfather's uh, 68th birthday. Man, my uh, my grandpa was f I think 46 when uh, when he passed away. I was a kid. I was young. And, uh... I think he was 46. He was in his 40s. Kind of a young age. But man, 60s is not bad. Would have been, but I don't know how... I don't know how that goes. I don't know. I, I mean, I guess he would... My grandpa would be in his... 60s as well, same age as my grandma. That one actually gave you a heart attack. I bet it did. <laughs> These creeper sounds. I love how we have everything except for the things that we actually need. I just want to make a an energy cell. Thermal. All right. Energy cell. And then I need to make this energy cell. Make sure we have everything for this. I think. Yes, we do. Thank goodness. We just need the glass. And finally. Do I have enough to make this one? With the upgraded, we need a kit, right? So you can slot this in our power system. We throw it in right here. We can say clear out configuration, input, output. Why can't I pick that up? Jim, all right, I have a good. Uh, good one the 
be here in spirit. Uh, so my parents were young when they had me. Uh, they, yeah, they were 20. Same age as I, I had my kids. Uh, so my youngest we had in my 20s. I was actually 20. My wife and I got married. I, I got married at 19. Well, yeah. 19. We had our first kid at 20. Both my wife and I. We were already out of high school and everything. So what I want to do is take this. I mean, I guess. Do I want to keep this running? What we need to do is get lucky and find... I don't think this fishing rod works. I can't tell. Maybe I've not left it long enough. If we see the durability go down... I'll, I'll leave it in here for a while. I want to find another spectral coil. By the way, happy belated birthday to my little one. Thank you. Yeah, she had a great birthday. Actually, her birthday was yesterday. Her actual birthday was yesterday. She had a lot of fun. We had a nice birthday party for her. Lots of fun. All right, Thermal, let's get into... Actually... All right. So we... Oh, there's a zombie. There's a zombie. I wanted to look at these other dimensions, right? And if one is viable... Hi, Jevin, what's going on, man? Hey, dude, uh, mind if I put your stream up on mine while I go grab food? No, have a... Have a do that. I think you... What, host? Yeah, man, no problem. Or whatever you want to do. Oh, yeah, no, put it up. Yeah, no, pepper on. Alright, let's see. Take some coal. What was I going to do? I need to grab... Chat, I literally just told you what I was going to do. And I forgot. Oh, mob. Okay, yeah, never mind. I, I realized. Chest. Throw this here. This bag sometimes gets annoying. We need to open this up because there's the dimension stuff that I want to read about. And what would be a good mob farm place? We got the Erebus dimension. Ooh, the Erebus dimension is something that I want to go to. The Erebus dimension is definitely something that I want to do. I've never made this portal, though. Ooh. Excuse me? Wait, what? Too scary or bug lover's paradise? Craft an offering altar. Give it an emerald, a piece of obsidian, and a diamond. And you'll receive a... Glean gem? This is used to make the staff of... Is it... Gaia. Gaia? Am I saying that right? <laughs> you can make that portal any shape you want. Awesome. You want to make two of these, I promise. Pixelated fire. Just resubscribed with Twitch Prime for 26 months. James. Welcome in. Thank you for the 26 freaking months, man. It's a long time. Look at that. Look at that skin. Oh, yeah. Thank you, man. And uh, I hope you're doing well. I haven't, I haven't got to talk to you in a little while. I hope you're doing good, though. Or doing better, I should say. Is Abyssalcraft in this pack? No, Abyssalcraft's not in here, even though that'd be really fun to get into. I want to try this. So, an offering altar. Offering altar. Okay. And then... Let's put some torches down. So we have the offering altar. I need to give it... What does it say? Give it a piece of obsidian, a diamond, 
Oh, emerald, diamond, and obsidian. Or emerald, obsidian, and diamond. Emerald, obsidian, which was what it was made out of, and diamond. And we're going to want two of these, it says. Oh. We got to be quick about it. Do we throw it on there? Or do we, like... Oh, we click it on here. Ooh. That's a cool particle effect. Ooh. Is this the, uh... What particle effect is that? Ooh, that's pretty cool. X underscore Amara. Just subscribed with a tier one sub. Amara! Thank you so much for that tier one sub. Welcome in. Welcome to the crew. Let me grab your uh, character. <laughs> Wait, does it just continue to do this? Wait, what's going on? <gasps> there it goes. It did a thing. It did a thing and we got a thing. A thing. There we go. So we got the gym. Let's do another one. Because it says you're going to want two. I think. Right? Piece of city, uh... Okay. Yeah, it says you're going to want to. We're about to go in literally some people's worst nightmare. DR underscore Joni turned on the sprinkler. DR Joni, thank you for the this 100 bits. Making it rain that. 100 bits. Coming back around. Test, 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 test. <laughs> thank you so much. Um... Gar of the Sand, YouTube says, my school computer can't handle this, so I should head off. It can't handle Twitch? I mean, I guess that makes sense. I mean, you probably shouldn't be on Twitch if you're at school anyways. I mean, unless they allow it. Which I would have, I would have some serious concerns about a school allowing students to watch Twitch. Some serious concerns. That would be interesting. Don't know how that would work. Okay, and then let's read up more on this. Because I've actually never made the portal to the Erebus the normal way. I've been to the Erebus dimension, but not the normal way. So we need to make this staff. You want to make two of these, I promise. Build a portal that is two by three on the inside and fill it with leaves. The frame can be anything you want. The leaves can be any kind you want. Set a... Stone near um. So it's telling me to set a Am I spelling this right? And then I need this thing, staff. You will need two of these. So we have two of them. Let's continue reading. All right, uh, the frame you want with anything, okay, set a Gian? I think it's how you pronounce it, keystone near the portal and insert the staff. So I'm guessing similar to the picture that it shows here. So we also need another key. We need this thing. We don't need two of these, right? So that seems pretty like reasonable. Um, what we're gonna need though is waystones. Definitely gonna need a waystone and a sign, and then we should be good. That should be all we need. 
Imagine having a room filled to the brim with RTX 2080 graphics cards. Dude, imagine having a room filled with RTX 2090 graphics cards. Heavy breathing. <sighs> I mean, seriously, like, I just went to Micro Center, like, yesterday. I went to Micro Center yesterday. They had a big sign on the, the, the window that says, we are currently sold out of RTX 2080s. Sorry for the inconvenience. And I'm like... People are really dying to have this card when things were perfectly fine before that existed. So it said the wall can be of anything. Go ahead and make it like this. I like this. And then we need leaves, right? Leaves for this portal. That should be good. Oh, 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 stuff's happening. I thought I heard something. Wait, how are the 20, not 2080s, 3080s, my bad. 3080s, not 2080s. You gotta forgive me for my my streaming ignorance at times. I mean, you don't have to forgive me, but you know, is what it is. But let me get uh, leaves. And then what we place this next to it. Which I'm assuming can go right here, right? Is that okay? And then we place this. Pretty cool. That's pretty cool looking. That creeper sound, man. That's gonna work. <laughs> that scared you. Yeah. Aren't they like a thousand dollars? Well, the the market price, like the original, like posted price, was not going to be. I think they were closer to like five hundred, seven hundred, five hundred dollars. That sort of price. All right. Do we have everything? We don't have steak. And we do have armor, and we have our pets on us. Illuminati pet. We just got a bookshelf. Ooh, a bookshelf would probably look fancy here. Okay. We go in here, we got our waist done, we'll set it to the Erebus dimension. And then we'll set our home back. I think the only thing we really need would be like our automatic feeding pet, which is the Actually we can enchant too. We have a little bit of levels to enchant some stuff. Like um thermal. Where did my drill... No, there's no way I've lost all these items. I know I had a drill. Is it in here somewhere? Did I charge it and leave it? I probably charged it and left it, didn't I? In. Oh. 
We need the Pac-Man pet. All right, and we're good to go. I think we're, I think we're pretty good. Uh, the only thing we need is the yo-yo. I don't know why we need two of these. Seriously, take an extra one with you. Maybe for something later on down the road. Don't know. We have our magnet. It's not really charged. Nor does this. This doesn't have a charge on it, does it? Nope, that is completely dead. Uh, yeah. Let's just charge that up, and then we'll leave this in here to charge. Coal. And then we should be ready to go. Perfect, all right. And we'll let that simmer. While we, could do, while we go do our stuff. All right, let's go into that dimension. I think we're ready to go. Yes, Waystone, we have a way to get out. Are you guys ready, chat? I don't think you're ready. I honestly don't think you're ready. I don't even know if I'm ready to go in this dimension, let alone are you guys ready. Fish. Let's get an Ocelot pet. I think having night vision would be pretty good. I don't even think you guys are ready for this. In all honesty. <laughs> I hope Chosen Architect knows I appreciate him actually reading comments because a lot of streamers never read comments. I I try to read comments anyways. If I if I do get kind of locked, you know, kind of lost into the game, then yeah, I probably won't read comments for a little bit, but that's just because I get super focused sometimes. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good to just kind of go in here and... God, I don't want to go in here, but we're going in here. We're doing this. We're going. We're doing it. Do I need a whole shift? What do I need to do? Oh, it's going. It's going. Ooh. Ooh, okay, so this is what we needed to bring two was because our portal's right here. Ooh, it looks like a it looks like a uh like the one that they built out for us is different. Looks like the portal from um uh Wow, I can't even think of the name of it. Uh Batania. I think we're frozen. We're 100% frozen right now. Are we crashing? I don't know. Sounds are still working. No, we're not frozen. So we, I can't put this in here for some reason. It's not working. It's all good though, we don't really need it. We do, however, need to find a safe-ish location. Luckily, we can fly. I say safe, but this is the Eurobus I'm talking about. That right there is definitely not safe. The, at least the biome we're in is relatively tame. This biome is definitely not tame at all. Um, not tame. All right, let's continue. Maybe we can set up shop in like a log or something. Like a, this log, maybe. 
I don't really know where we want to go. Portal looks to be wrong dimensions. It can be an, it can be any dimensions, I think. Right here, I'm just trying to find a peaceful place. Ooh, I think this is like one of the more peaceful areas. Like this. So like if I set the waste stone on top of this flower, that should work, right? So long as I break that. We just call this the nope dimension or something. There we go. So now we go back and forth. All right, let's give ourselves some night vision. All right, how did we just run out this? Oh, this requires cooked fish. You know what? We're going to go back and get cooked fish. I don't want to do this dimension. So I don't want you guys to be blind in this dimension. Chosen, you bring a home pet? No, I don't have a home pet yet. <laughs> There's the nope. 10K channel points, oh boy. What should you use those on? Hmm. There it goes. Now that now my ocelot's happy. It is working. Okay, so it is working with this platinum. Okay. Good. Please not three ads. What do you mean three ads? I didn't even run ads. So if you're getting ads, it's because I don't run them. Sorry, don't blame me, blame Twitch on that one. I don't control the ads. I mean, I can control the ads by giving you more ads, but I, I choose not to unless somebody redeems channel points for them. Oh, you're talking, you're telling someone to do three ads. Oh yeah, you can tell, you can use your channel points for ads. Um. Yeah, that'd be a, uh, what, 90 second? No, it'd be a 180 second ad break. Isn't that five minutes? No. It would be 90 second ad break, which I mean, I would technically just do a 60 second ad break. Okay. So now that we have our, our pet back, let's go back to the nope dimension. What mod are you using? Exclamation point pack. Oh boy, it's a lot brighter now. We also need to sort of mark where this is at. So bright. All of these though, are technically things we could turn into. Oh, we can turn into a dragonfly now. Same goes for this, like, fly. That's a mosquito. Oh, this is... The, some of the sounds in this dimension is just freaking hor horrifying. Absolutely just... <sighs> bad stuff here. Like that cicada... Oh. Yep. Welcome to the hell dimension. If if Minecraft made a dimension that was more hell-like, I would say this would be it. This guy's a tank, by the way. If we turn into that guy, you'll see how much health he actually has. It's kind of ridiculous. What is this? Weeping bluebell. 
Uh, give me the blue smoothie. Wow. So this is the nice dimension. Vibe check for chat. It's like Spider-Man. So there is some ore that we actually need to be looking for, right? In this dimension, I think. Jade is one of them. The heck was that? Did that thing just shoot something at me? Oh, that is gross. Blech. Get out of here. Ugh. Keep your slimy self. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what that was. Got some slime balls out of it though. These dragonflies will pick you up. They ain't no joke. All right, Chad, help me find Jade. I'm looking for Jade in the ceilings. There's other ore in here, though, too. My least favorite food. What would that be? Seafood. Any seafood. Is that a tick? Don't know what that was. Is the scannable mod in this pack? Um, no. Yeah, that would definitely help when it, having that scanning mod. There's a grasshopper. It's a glow bug. Your abos just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Another glow bug. Um, Theravos, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Let me uh, grab you before the bugs get you over here. I'll get you. I'll save you, bud. You save you. Whew, that was a close one, right? The bugs almost got you. Ooh, it's a moth. It's a booter moth. A butter moth. Ugh. This ain't even the worst. The worst is the hornets. Or when you get attacked by a bot fly. See, look at this guy. Let go of me. The bot fly or whatever, it can actually infect you and you'll have like a worm sticking out of your stomach. That one's the weird one. That one is weird. These guys. These guys are not, not a joke. These stinky bot flies. Get out of here. Ooh, he hit me. It's not a good, that's not good. He might have infected me. Did he infect me? Okay, my stomach looks okay. That was a close one. They recently added Erebus to MC Eternal. Oh my gosh. They can only make that pack even larger than it is. <clears throat> my goodness. Nope. 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 Get out of here. Ah. <laughs> Alright, we're and we're in the good area. Like we're in the good dimension. We're the worst thing we have to, or, or sorry, biome. We're the worst thing we have to worry about is that. Now this, oh, this is trigger inducing, dude. Look at the water striders, dude. That is, that is, yeah. That's gonna cause some fear for some folks. Straight up the water striders.
This is gross. Why did I want to come here? Why did I want to go to this dimension? You hate bugs. Oh, you're going to hate this then. You're going to hate this. We haven't even got to the spiders. Whoa! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> he jumps at you. Can you be this thing? You got to be able to. Holy smokes. There's another thing that's uh, that can spawn that's really dangerous as well. Look at the spider. Whoa! All right, all right, all right, all right. Straight up freaking me out. I just felt like something was crawling on me there for a moment. There's spiders? Question mark. Oh yeah, you have no idea. The Nether's the worst. Oh, here's the hornets. Ow. What? I'm trying to hit him, I can't. They're too fast. Whew. Horn it down. The sounds, oh man, the sounds are bad. They're good, that's the problem. They're that good. Is that diamond? There's just diamond hanging out. All right, I'm still in the hunt for Jade. Which is like just a green block. There's also another block that is kind of hard to see. Here's one of them. This is a temple ore. That's another one of the, the ores. Hmm. Iron. I think it's on the higher Y levels too. They're traumatizing. We're not even in the biome where the spiders exist. There's literally a spider boss you have to fight. Ooh, is this the deserty area? Yeah, this is my favorite part. This place. This is where the camel spiders exist. There's like a whole maze you gotta go through in this right here. An entire maze. Nothing's really spawning right now though. Please don't fight it. Oh, no. <laughs> My bad. Does this even affect it? Yep. Ah, I think this is the dimension. Or this is the biome, not dimension. This is the one with the spiders? Uh, maybe not. I don't know. The spiders still aren't anywhere near as... Ooh, that water is beautiful. I need a bucket. Is this... Hopefully this isn't like normal water, because I would love this to be... Dust layer. I like this material here. Wait. So this is, this got some good building materials. Like, especially this. This wood rock. I kind of like that look. Hmm. Hmm. I like that wood. That's the neatest water I've ever seen. It's pretty cool looking, ain't it? All right, we probably need to get back. We're getting, we're a little fur far away from home. A little fur. What is that? Pear cactus. Compost. Oh, it's like a fruit. 
Hmm. Absolutely disgusting. Come on now. Some of this wood in here looks really good. Oh, that reminds me. Should probably get a drink. Or I'm with Val. Thank you for the bit. Appreciate it. Is this a bee? There's a bee. I think this is the regular fly. If I can hit it with this thing. It's so hard to use a yo-yo on this. There we go. Ooh, ladybug. Ah, here we go. I didn't want you guys. All right, I'm not after you. I'm after the praying mantis. Oh my gosh. Good thing I take like absolutely no damage. Well, it's hardly any damage. Oh my gosh, that scared the crap out of me. Hopefully that don't fall. Thank you, babe. Love you. Wife dropping off food. Oh my goodness. You know, that's, that's one thing I haven't thought about. I hopefully my shed doesn't freeze over. Wasp probably the worst thing in this mission. Yeah. Where was I at that I just seen the... Oh, there they are. I want to grab the praying mantis. The hornets and the wasps are both bad. That smells delicious, by the way. Mm, it's like a chicken salad. Okay, I think it's time for us to head back. Get some things going over here. Mm, man, that smells really good. Chat, I'm gonna have to give you guys up just for this food. I, I really am, I'm gonna have to. gonna have to do that all right so we got some some work ahead of us i just wanted to visit this dimension and uh check it out oh please don't infect me okay good i don't have the worm on my stomach that's such a weird thing to have happen to you this stuff looks really cool as well i don't know i have some plans for this uh this dimension like not building here but like using some of the blocks from it we have to find more jade though i know to progress what in the world? No worm on me. Goodness. So gross, you have to worry about that. What mod pack will you do after Sevtech? I suggest Rustic Waters. I I won't be doing Rustic Waters. Unless you just want to see me in a crafting table the entire mod pack let's play. I mean, because that's where I would be in the crafting table the entire time. Yeah. So, anyways. <laughs> um, I guess, well, I guess today is it. There we go. Well, that took forever. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to find somebody to raid, right? Let's, uh, let's go find somebody to raid. Let's see. Hmm. Because we have definitely streamed for a little bit longer than normal. It's kind of nice. Ooh, Dark Fan is live. Let's give Dark Fan some love tonight. 
you guys have never seen Dark Fan, here is some Dark Fan. Guys, I will, of course, see you over in Dark Fan's live stream. If you guys enjoyed, of course, you know what to do. Uh, definitely click that follow button over here on Twitch. I would really appreciate it. And guys, of course, I'll see you in the next live stream. And as always, thanks for watching.